the image recognition wizard makes it real easy to create image recognition code which can see the screen. Under code builders you'll see in the image recognition category the first option image recognition wizard. Click on that and what I want to do is create some code which is going to click on this little invoices icon. In fact I don't want to click on it I just need to hover over because the thing that needs to be clicked on is down here. So I just want to select the first option find the position of an image to interact with. You could also just you, you could also use this to, to wait for an image but in this case we want to actually do something with it. So on the next screen we capture the image. So I just highlight the thing I want and then we give it a name. Click next and then we tell the macro where to look for it and in this case I'm just going to take the default option which is the most common option just to search the entire screen. If I wanted to though I could select just the window that contains it or I could even draw an image, a, a rectangle on the screen and say look inside that rectangle. Usually we just want to search the entire screen. And we don't want to click on it in this case, we just want to hover over it. So I just want to move the mouse to it. So we'll select the move mouse option. And we could tell it also whether we want to click in the center or put the mouse in the center or some other part of the image. And usually, and in this case, we just want the center. So we now insert the code. Now if I run that, the, ma the macro should move the cursor to the image we captured. There you go. So it's simple as that. We didn't write any code at all. Now to do the next bit, we want to click on the little first menu option that comes up. So this time, I'm going to go back into the image recognition wizard. Again, find the position. Capture an image, but because this only comes up when we hover over it, I'm going to just tell it to wait five seconds before we start the capture to give us a chance to get the mouse over it and get the little menu to pop up. So I'm selecting five seconds there and then capture. So now I'm just going to wait a few seconds because I put the mouse there, wait a few seconds until I get the crosshairs. Now I can capture this part. So we'll give that a name. Again, I'm going to look at the entire screen, and this time I want to click on it. So I'll just leave the default options, left click in the center of the image, insert code. So now if I run that, we should see the mouse go over there, the menu pop up, and then the mouse go here and click. Here we go. There you go. So simple as that. Just using the wizard, we can create some pretty powerful code that allows the macro to see the screen. And the beauty of image recognition is that wherever the window is, it's always going to find those images. So if I move the window, it's still going to work. There you go.